Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. Today our lecture about ultrasound findings in diffuse thyroid disease. Objectives. To review characteristic radiological findings of diffuse involvement of the thyroid gland. We will talk about 1. Simple and multinodular diffuse goiter. 2. Hashimoto thyroiditis. 3. Graves disease. 4. Subacute lymphocytic thyroiditis, 5. Jekervan subacute thyroiditis, 6. Reader's thyroiditis, 7. Thyroid amyloidosis, 8. Drug induced thyroiditis, 9. Diffuse sclerosing papillary carcinoma, 10. Anaplastic carcinoma, 11. Thyroid lymphoma, 12. Thyroid metastasis. Number 1. Simple and multinodular diffuse goiter. It is defined as the increase in thyroid size, either diffuse or multinodular, usually in a thyroid patient. The causes are multifactorial, highlighting the deficiency of iodine in the diet, genetic and endogenous factors, uh, female gender. There is increase in thyroid stimulating hormone that stimulates follicular cell hyperplasia. Signs and symptoms diffuse or multinodular goiter. Painless. There is maybe dysphagia and dyspnea due to intrathoracic growth. Ultrasound findings. Focal or diffuse replacement of the normal parenchyma by multiple grouped isococcal nodules of different sizes and with a variable degree of cystic degeneration. 2. Dystrophic growth calcifications. K points CT to evaluate the intrathoracic extension. This is a transverse ultrasound A shows a diffuse multinodular goiter with multiple hyperechoic nodules grouped red arrows. Number two, Hashimoto thyroiditis. It is an autoimmune disease, the most common cause of thyroiditis and the main cause of hypothyroidism and goiter in Spain. It affects predominantly middle-aged women, female to male ratio 8 or 9 to 1. Signs and symptoms diffuse and painless goiter in a hypothyroid patient. There is elevation of antithyroid antibodies, antibrexidases, and antithyroglobulin. In most cases, ultrasound is not necessary to establish the diagnosis. However, in thyroid patients and in a subclinical phase of the disease, it is possible to suggest the diagnosis before they manifest symptoms. Ultrasound findings It vary according to the degree of glandular involvement and severity of follicular disruption. Thyroid increase in size, heterogeneous and hypoechogenic parenchyma, glandular atrophy in advanced stages. Multiple hypoechoic micronodules separated by hyperechoic linear septa corresponding to glandular lymphocytic infiltrates and fibrous septa. Color doubler can be normal or increased in early stages and decreased in advanced stages of the disease. Small hypoechoic reactive adenopathies, low paratracheal, is the most common location. The presence of microcalcifications, cystic changes, Peripheral vascularization in color doubler. Loss of the fatty hilum and a round shape are suspicious finding of malignancy. K points reactive lower paratracheal adenopathies and benign hyperechoic nodules, which is called white nights. It is regeneration nodules. This is a transverse thyroid ultrasound. A shows a markedly hypoechoic gland. Similar to the echogenicity of the prethyroid musculature, blue arrows, with some micronodules, white arrow, and with predominantly anterior distribution of involvement concordant with a more initial phase of the disease. This is a transverse ultrasound A, shows a diffuse micronodular pattern, red arrows, with some hyperechogenic septa, blue arrows. The color doubler NB shows a normal flow concordant with advanced phase of the disease. C. Typical nodule of thyroid regeneration or white night 
white arrow benign by definition d lower baratracheal hypoechoic adenopathies of reactive nature green arrows typical of Hashimoto thyroiditis Hashimoto thyroiditis fibrous variant this is a transverse thyroid ultrasound A and B evidences a hypoechoic gland Note the echogenicity of the prethyroid musculature and increase in size predominantly in the anterior portion. In B, a large hyperechogenic fibrous septa.